Today is the last day of service for this guy. <gasps> no! Hey, Ab, um, what is the answer? Love is the answer. <laughs> yep. Nine years, our little off-grid house has had a 12-volt DC solar system. But today, we are cutting it out, and we're cutting in the AC system from the big solar system we have on the shop. You excited? Yes. How come? Because we get lights in here. What do you have against DC? Nothing. We just don't have a very big DC system. Okay, so you just have something against small systems. That's right. Okay, so for example, you don't like how bright the lights are. Did you turn the lights on? I just turned them on. Yeah. We got our way up to, I think, about 15 watts of LED lights in the house. Which is great in the summertime. At, at night? <laughs> well, at night, like when it's pitch black. That makes a huge difference. And for nine years, that's what we've had. Yes. And the only thing you can't really do is any kind of task. Right. <laughs> Whoa, cover your eyes. So I think this is eight watts we have over here. And the same thing, you can find your way around the kitchen at night, but you can't really read a, a recipe book or like measure things properly, right? So look at this. We got what we need. Some BX and our new main panel. Aw. Really have a soft spot for that fluke. Sarah, you're my number one helper today. Yep, a very expensive number one helper. Really? What, what did that? we agree on? What is that, 44, 45 an hour? Where's our other helper? Should she just run away? Mm -hmm. She's probably getting a snack. <laughs> you guys gonna do some math together or what? Fractions and and normal numbers? Good grief. If you could find a career that involves a lot of math and singing and dancing, <laughs> <laughs> you'd be perfect. This has been our power center. We grabbed secondhand 12 volt batteries they were five years old nine years ago they were five years old nine years ago they're like basically older than you they're ancient this is all coming out we're all ripping it out right now and we're going to put in that ac panel and we're going to connect a permanent cable from the shop to here mm -hmm. and then we're going to wire in all sorts of outlets all over the place okay let's do it let's do it Okay, before we do anything, I just want to apologize. In the past, I've been known to make fun of Dave's tiny solar power system. Okay, uh, I accept your apology, I guess. It doesn't matter what size your solar power system is. If you're living in the woods, you're automatically better than people, <laughs> than other people. It's not about your physical body being off-grid. It's about your spirit. And if your spirit place has a tiny 12 volt solar power system, it still doesn't matter because your spirit is better. <laughs> wow, this is getting really metaphysical. Leatherman, it's always the right tool. Perfect. Do you feel a bit sad? No. No? Neither of you are sad? Nope. This was such a big deal when we put it in. It was, it was huge. Yep. Oh, now it reads zero. Oh. Oh. You got that? Open the front door. <laughs> front door. Mom. They're not as bad as Sarah made it look. She just was acting tough. So, I think we just start removing all these wires from our, this is our main fuse box, our output to all our DC circuits around the house. I never really showed that the DC, the way we use the DC besides the lights, you can get these. These are like a marine style, so they're they're good quality, but they're just like a regular barrel connector like in your car. 
you know, you can just plug in these guys to plug in any of your USB stuff. One of our highest priorities was to have a cell phone booster. And these things, you can come with an, a DC or an AC adapter. There's a flaky bar of service around here, but with a Yagi antenna and a booster, we can have cell service. As long as we got power of some sort. Well, what are we gonna do with this now? I mean, it's a fully functional solar system in a, on a panel. Hey dad, would you mind just carrying it at my and Sarah's house? Oh, you wanna use it at your house? Mm-hmm. Huh. Alrighty, here we go. Our new baby. Let's bring our primary feed in here. Okay, is everyone in positions? I, I'm just standing here beside Abby. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's your position. You guys are gonna pull this cable through, okay? Okay. It's gonna be a heavy pull, we, and we're hoping it's gonna work. Okay, get started. Yeah, go slow here. Oh yeah, it's moving. Okay, keep going. Keep going. I think this is gonna work. Okay. Woo! Right on. Let's have a look, Rose. Touch your red wires to the black wire one at a time. Okay, okay try a different one. That's the one right there. Okay, that is. okay, so that red wire, I'm gonna call the ground, okay? okay. You call it the ground on your side. Yeah. It's so dark in here. It is dark in here. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. You ready for some lights? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see if it works. Turn it all off. We got power to the main panel. Let's see if this works. Okay, no one's touching anything, right? Nothing happened. That's perfect. We didn't want anything to happen yet. Okay. Let's see if this works. <gasps> no! This is like a rooftop patio now, girls. <coughs> right in our own kitchen. Ow. Woo! We got lights! Look at these. Nice. Okay, back to wiring. You got enough? Yeah. Okay, so the best one's gonna come over to here. I need the cutters. Someone get there with the cutters. I haven't taken the solar panel down, but the house was run by that little solar panel on the front. And now it's gonna be run by this solar system on the shop. Definitely a lot more power available, but also the batteries, a lot more storage. So we can handle uh, quite a few days without any sun with the lithium ion batteries. These batteries have been amazing. And with this inverter, we now have access to 4,500 watts of AC. So we're golden, which is still a fraction of what you have in a normal house, but it's more than enough. We can run anything in the house or the shop. And yeah, there's chickens, look at this. Hey girls, there's a bunch of eggs in here. Whole pile of them. That panel did its job for a long time. But now the new system and the new lights. I'm very happy to have the lights cut over yesterday. The fridge is back on. The internet's back on. The cell booster's back on. <clears throat> But that's still only half the house. And this right now is the only working lights in the house. So we have straight from China, 
these little things. Okay, obviously before we install these, we gotta read the warnings. Please don't cut the string light. This will break the circuit. That will not working. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you say these were from? Hmm, China? Imagine. Oh, I just love all these tools. The Leatherman. Wear a thousand volt. Don't you feel safer using those things? Anyways, a few. These are a few of my favorite tools. This is Granddad's. We don't really need a ball peen right now, but I sure like this hammer. He was a kid in England, 14 years old, and England at the time had a program to save the children because they thought they were going to get destroyed. So they shipped kids over on on. I don't know if they were they were they weren't warships. They were passenger ships basically, but. Um, but they were also secretly sending their gold. So all the gold in England was being shipped over to Canada for safekeeping so that the Nazis didn't get it. But the ship after him was, was um, torpedoed down. But Grandad came to BC to the north coast to a town that doesn't even exist anymore. And he worked at a box factory. Anyways, he accumulated a bunch of tools there from Uncle Stubb. My favorite strippers. Yep, that'll do it. There Got we it. go. Perfect. Thanks. Okay, and what bit do you need on the multi? Um, the square one. <laughs> Please say Roberts. Uh, <laughs> Camera's rolling. Roberts and Phillips. This was like the first Canada-US war. And of course, Phillips won. But anyways, Robert still had a better bit driver. Because it's square and it doesn't strip. The Phillips is like, pfft, hate Phillips. Okay, you got Robert right here. A lot of people do this kind of stuff when they're building the house as opposed to like after they've built cabinets. And... After they've been living there for nine years? <laughs> Anyways, good thing we got Sarah to squeeze in there. Yeah. You rock, Sarah. I know. <laughs> good grief. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Look at that. Clever little light switch built into the thing, hey? Yep. Anyways, kid, this circuit is done. That's done. All wired up in there. Yeah, that just needs a cap. We still have to buy some covers. And those wires actually just come out. Those are from the DC system. Okay. So just a second, check this guy here. Yep. Oh yeah, that one and the one in this the girls' room. This is hot. That one's hot. Yep. Wow, beauty, Sarah. Nicely done. Thanks. Let's get them. Oh yeah, there's our tower of potatoes. <laughs> oh, here's one. Oh man, oh, that's a giant. So they're getting some roots, but not bad. Like right. they're still firm. Those look great. Okay. Yeah. Well. Complete success. Hey, the roof's still there? Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here before it caves in. <laughs> you guys all here? Sarah's missing. Okay, let mama in and then... Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> nice! <gasps> Very bright. Dad, show them the special... Whoa! And there's the chandelier. Wow. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. It's like bright in this other wow. way. We never had it bright in here. Never. That is really neat looking. <gasps> wow.
Mama definitely gets the lion's share of the light in the kitchen, huh? Still. Good job, girls. Good job, Sarah. You're a pretty proficient electrician, you know? You terminated a lot of electrical boxes. Very bright. Didn't cross any wires, didn't trip any breakers. And this is not about just my girls. This is about all your girls all and girls maybe everywhere. your boys. Not to generalize, but all girls everywhere are... If they wire a house for two days, they know how to wire a house. <laughs> Obviously, they have lots of things to learn. But here's the point. You ask them now, like, is it a big deal to wire a house? They're like, nope. They did everything. Like, I was just filming and telling them what to do. Wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> You'll notice that as a, a courtesy, I wear a hat when we do these. Yeah? It's because you don't want to spread the coronavirus. Partly that, yeah. but more as a courtesy to the viewer. This is a metaphor for my spirit. Yeah, untamed. You can't, Unwashed. you can't put a name on this. You can't categorize this. You don't want to touch it. It reeks of yes. power. Yes. <laughs> power, it, pow it reeks powerfully. It. Eight plus two. Love. If two trains leave separate cities, travel one's traveling east, the other's traveling west. Yeah. One's traveling at seventy miles an hour, the other one's traveling at forty miles an hour. Yeah. At what point will they meet? But what, were they leaving Montreal? No. The question. The answer is love. Love. <laughs> if you were to describe our relationship in one word, love. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna. Okay, coming in. T coming in. <laughs> Are you getting sick? Coming into shore now. You getting yeah. sick? Yeah. This is. Ah, oh, it just makes me want to go to the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like rivers better. <laughs> <laughs>